Hey guys, and welcome back to Yolama Gaming. I know that my last video was titled something similar, but this is a more updated guide for 2024, and specifically for the Steam version, because I was playing on the Windows version, and I recently got the Steam version on sale. It seems to be a much better way to play the game, and I'll explain why in a bit. But uh, yeah, so these fixes worked for me. Hopefully they work for you. If not, let me know. I'll be going step by step on many of the suggestions that are recommended by people online. And like I said, they worked for me. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first, there's some things you can do before you even get into the game to reduce crashes um, from your Steam launcher. And um, like I said, obviously these fixes are mainly for the Steam version of the game. Although I might have some recommendations that will work for other versions as well, but primarily focused on Steam. So inside of the Steam launcher, if you go to your games collection and then hit play on Ark Survival Ascended, it should give you a default pop-up option to play the game regularly or with the anti-cheat off. Now, I think the anti-cheat probably for me was the biggest thing causing crashes most likely because as soon as I turn this off, the number of crashes went down a lot. Like, to almost zero. Um, I'm not sure why this is, but it's not a huge crutch, honestly, as long as you don't play the official servers, which they're kind of a mess anyway. Um, but there's some other fixes that you can try if you do really want to play on official. Like I said, this for me might have been the biggest thing. Okay, so next up in the Steam Launcher, if you see the little settings button next to the eye in the circle, I'll put like an arrow there or something. If you click on that and then go to Properties, I couldn't get a screenshot of that page because it went off every time I tried to do that. But I got a screenshot. Once you go to Properties, go in General, Advanced Users may choose to enter modifications, blah, blah, blah. You can enter no hit thread or whatever that says down there. Um, just exactly as it typed. Another command you can try is DX11, which makes the game run in DirectX 11. This helped some people out, but for me, it the DirectX 11 just made my performance absolutely horrible and nothing was loading in. It didn't crash, but I, I couldn't play that way. So I didn't use that one, and my game still seems to be working fine without it. So uh, probably try the no-hit thread as well as some of these other changes I, I have listed. Okay, so now for the in-game settings. You're probably going to want to change these before you go into the game, because changing your graphics settings once you're in the game can sometimes cause a bit of crashing, like once you're in a save, world, server, whatever. You're going to want to make sure to have your frame rate capped. I did 30 because my PC really can't output much higher than that consistently. So I just kept it at that, um, probably below your monitor's refresh rate. Um, and uh, DLSS, you want to have set to quality. Now for the resolution, you're going to want to have it on, based on your hardware. But for me, since my CPU is a little bit weaker, I wanted to let the graphics card do the bulk of the work. So I turned the resolution up. Uh, window mode, you want to do windowed full screen because if the game does happen to crash and you're on full screen, the only way to get out is the control alt delete sign out of your PC and then sign back in. So kind of annoying. Whereas windowed full screen, you can use your task manager to escape and stuff like that. So again, with these fixes, you probably shouldn't be experiencing that, but still just in case. So keep it on windowed full screen, I'd recommend. It doesn't seem to hurt my performance that much. Um, as far as the graphics settings, um, the, the the actual like like graphics and stuff, I let the PC do that itself. I didn't mess with those. But on the right hand side, um, I turned light bloom and shafts off because those are known to cause crashes, as well as the fluid and foliage interaction, which looks cool. But a lot of people are saying it's causing crashes. So I turn that off just to be sure. And then disable HLOD down at the bottom there. Um, you're going to want to have that off just to try. Because for me, I think this was definitely hurting my performance. If not, maybe causing crashes. It just makes the things that are far away look not loaded in. If you don't like this, like I said, you can try without it. But for me, this might have been causing crashes. So I turned it off just in case.
All right, so now that you're in game, if you get in and you're having a problem like crashing upon loading in, best thing I can recommend is to look down immediately and then press the tilde on the keyboard, which I'll put that on screen what that looks like. But it's basically a little squiggly thing. And that just accesses your console bar. Or if you are on um, if you are on the Windows version or a console, but this this isn't really for console players. I mean, you can try some of these things, absolutely. But I mean, you won't have all the same graphical thing. You go to console command and you can enter stuff there as well. But if you're on the Steam version, I would just recommend this because it's faster. Press the tilde, and if you do arc dot vertex count scaling. Now this is like the number one thing whenever you look it up that people recommend. Want you do vertex count scaling one. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this does, but People say it helps with the crashes. In my experience, it seems to have helped a bit. My performance might be a little bit lower than usual because uh, I'm recording. But uh, yeah, I have it. I have it locked on 30 anyway. I don't really need higher than that, especially because I'm not like PvP or anything like that. And as you can see, I have the volumetric clouds on. They weren't really affecting the crashes that much for me. And with DLSS quality, they do look kind of nice. Um, but if you want to go ahead and turn those off just for performance reasons, or if they are causing crashes for you, you think, um, that is r.volumetric. Cloud zero. And yeah, some people say that causes crashes, so that's going to be like another one that people recommend. Um, I'm not going to give you guys like a full base store or anything, because I might do that later. But um, yeah, so that's basically... The things I've tried, if if this still doesn't work for you, um, let me know in the comments. Because, like I, like I said, this is on the Steam version, and I'm pretty sure the Windows version is just, like, pretty much the most crappy game port to ever exist. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you, uh, leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. If it didn't help you, uh, comment, and I can try to figure out what it is for you. Um, but that's about it. See you guys in the next video.